Until it's a dim down a notch Cause I can name some things that I'm gonna do Wow, wow, wow Hi guys, thank you for joining my channel today and watching my brow tutorial. This is going to be a simple brow tutorial on how to make your eyebrows look natural as well as a little bit on the more perfect side, especially when you're growing out your eyebrows like I am at the moment. Hope you all like this and subscribe. You're going to start with a handful of brushes. I have an elf pencil here with a spoolie at the end and some concealer. So I also have some eyeshadow here I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do with that later and I start with brushing the eyebrows with the spoolie and just shaping it to get the proper shape that I'd like then I can start filling it in to that desired shape and I just I make everything really sharp because I really like when I have all my points sharp I like that top peak and the end tail to be very very sharp and the front to be sharp and then blunt at the top and middle then I go in with the pencil part and I start from the underside and I just draw a line from the front of the eyebrow and I follow it down to the end tail I do go out a little bit longer than it actually is and then I kind of feather the front part in a little bit and then I blend it out by taking the spoolie and just brushing the hair in the front upward and kind of getting rid of that line and pushing all the product upward and I go back in and I fill out anything that is not to my liking and I make the top end sharp and make sure everything is filled out I go back and I see if I can uh, you know fix anything else up brush it down you can also use some brow gel at this point I don't usually use any um, gel or wax or anything here but uh, that would never hurt to use some I've never really had a problem there then I go in and I start on the other eyebrow now this eyebrow has a little sparse area right here and I go a little extra right there to fill it out but I do the same thing on this side I brush it to the desired shape I try to get the little hairs that aren't waxed out of the way and I start off the same way just drawing that line from the underside and perfecting that line a little bit and I go back and I draw the tail in down and I make sure I fill in everything that I possibly can and I go back in and I kind of draw some eyebrow shading upward just to fill that area in better and I also just go ahead and brush everything up the same way on the other side. Now for just a clean, more natural look, you can definitely stop here. I usually do this more often, especially when my eyebrows are not grown in. For the most part, I just stop here and I like the way this looks. However, if you do want a cleaner look, you want to go in with the concealer after this step of filling them in and brushing them to shape. They look very nice now. Now I go in with the concealer and when I open I have this concealer from Wet n Wild I go in right under just the same way that I drew the line under my eyebrow I start concealing the same way and I try to stay very very close and make sure I get a lot of concealer on those little stray hairs that I don't want anyone to see now you can just do this if you um, want to make that a sharp look but still even more natural but I, if I like to go a little bit further sometimes and shape the entire eyebrow. Next, I like to go to the, the outer half of my eyebrow and I start there. 
and I like to make that point at the top sharp and I don't go all the way forward I just go to the middle part I do that on both sides and I just make sure everything is nice and sharp and I'll show you why I don't go to the whole eyebrow in a minute now that that's fine I start in the middle and I go up and I like I said I cover all those little sparse hairs that are right there and I just make a little line it's kind of thick with concealer because I'm gonna bring it down and around where that section that I don't have concealer because I do like it faded out there I don't want so much of the concealer in that area next I take this eyeliner brush and I just I had a lot of concealer and I don't want to go in with the bigger brush and push that extra concealer into the eyebrow so I'm just shaping it this is the brush that I use and I go down underneath the eyebrow into the top part of the eye it's also good because once you go in with eyeshadow your eyeshadow will have something to kind of prime your eye before and I brush upward on the top part and to the side for the concealer on the top and I just pat around there just so like I said I don't want to push the concealer into the eyebrow pencil that I uh, you know drew into the eyebrow Once all the edges around are brushed out and blended, I go ahead and like I said, I bring that middle section up and then to the side so that I'm covering the top part of the eyebrow and I make sure everything is well blended, double check everything. Again, you can stop right here and just make sure everything is blended and start your other uh, application of makeup. Now it's time to highlight under the eyebrows. Right now I'm using an eyeshadow, either gold or white. I go with, uh, you can use highlighter, but I didn't have any at the moment. The eyeshadow works pretty well. And I just dab it right under that arch, just right under the arch down to the back of the tail, very, very lightly. I don't like it to be too bold and sharp right here with the highlight. It starts to look kind of like cheesy and fake. I like to use the gold most of the time. And I just make sure everything's under there. Sometimes I'll even go back over if I like that. I'll go back over the top part. Thank you again for watching, guys. Bye.